One of the things um, that I've learned in the last five years is that so much of our programming, so much of our unconscious mind uh, is rooted in the body. And um, people store traumas, uh, shocks, crisis, uh, past experiences that are strong emotional charges. They store those in the body because every time we remember the experience, we're producing the same chemistry in the brain and body as if it's happening. So the body actually becomes conditioned into the past. And so the body in its resistance uh, is, is clinging to the known and the familiar even though we want our future to begin to change. So if you understand then that you can't think greater than how you feel when you're addicted to certain emotions, or when you've been thinking and feeling in the same cycles and, and feeling and thinking that you condition your body to become the mind of that emotion, then when feelings become the means of thinking, then for the most part, people are thinking in the past. So the body is struggling because it's clinging to the known because it doesn't, doesn't trust the unknown. And so some people would rather hold on to their, their suffering or their pain than take a chance in possibility. Nothing wrong with that. It's just becoming conscious of the process. And so when people begin to do this work, the first thing we teach them is about that elegant, generous present moment. And when you're truly in the present moment and you're totally focused, something amazing happens. You forget that you have a body. Mm -hmm. You forget about the people in your life. Uh, you forget about the things you own, your cell phone, your computer, your car, your home. You forget about where you're sitting, where you need to be, what place you have to go to, and you forget about time in and of itself. You forget, you take your attention off of time. And in that moment, you become pure consciousness. Now that is the elegant, generous present moment. And when you are truly in the present moment, that intelligence that lives within you and all around you is always present. It's always paying attention. And that's the moment there's an alignment between the subjective consciousness that's free-willed and the objective consciousness of the quantum field. You're looking right in the mirror. So then, in order for us to heal our bodies, we have to get beyond our bodies. In order for us to change some aspect of our identity or personality, we have to literally forget about ourselves. In order for us to change some problem or condition in our life, we have to forget about our present life and forget about the predictable future or the familiar past. And so you can only talk around this concept, but for a person who struggles with creating joy when they feel so much pain and that they're working on trying to fake it until they make it, my advice is very simple. Work on getting beyond yourself. Now, there have been so many people in this work that have struggled and analyzed and tried to get beyond themselves and, and then tried to fake it and did all those things until they finally just followed the instructions and became nobody, no one, no thing, nowhere, and no time. Once you're that pure consciousness, the next question is, as consciousness, can you begin to put your attention on that field? Can you begin to pay attention to it? to begin to become aware of it, to become more aware of it, to experience it, to feel it, to stay connected to it moment after moment after moment. Now, just because you can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So as your consciousness begins to become aware of the consciousness of the quantum field, and you're experiencing less separation. Remember, separation is three-dimensional reality. My senses fool me into believing you're over there and I'm over here and there's time and space between us three-dimensional reality. But as you begin to become pure consciousness, you begin to experience less separation. As you begin to put your attention on that field and stay present with it, that infinite space, and tune into it, and begin to, begin to become more aware of greater degrees of oneness and wholeness, the signature of that unified field, that energy that is organizing everything material, mm -hmm. is intelligent love. It is 
very organized energy that we can only describe as love, but not like chemical love you have for your dog or your kids or your partner, but it's electric. It is, it is, it is so, it's the most familiar, unfamiliar feeling you'll ever have. It, it enlivens us. It is the very life force. It is the glue that's holding everything together. So then the moment you put your attention on it and you begin to connect to it, where you place your attention is where you place your energy. You're investing your attention and energy into that field and you'll begin to experience greater and greater degrees of oneness and wholeness and begin to feel more love. And now you don't have to try because the energy from these centers moves right into the heart. We've measured this thousands of times. And the person then is being baptized by the divine. And all of the struggles, all of the effort, all of the analysis, all of the bad meditations, all of the good meditations, all of the quitting, all of the complaining is worth it. Because that moment you run into it, uh, it, it is the most amazing feeling you'll ever have. So I'm not asking people then to create um, a fake feeling just to pretend that they're there. I'm asking them to become passionate and when when they're in that field and they're no longer encumbered by their body now they can think greater than how they feel <laughs> they're, they're not they're not connected to matter and anything material they're connected to this field so I think about uh, when I'm creating if I am going to do something unlimited huh, I gotta feel unlimited. If I'm gonna create something magnificent, I have to become magnificent. So we have to work ourselves up into that state. And so there's an excitement, there's a change in energy. And, and when there's a change in energy, you change your energy, you change your life. And nobody changes until they change their energy. So the fundamental question is, what do you get passionate about? What moves you? What, it's, and this isn't a mechanical process. We're intuitively wired to create. So when you and I are saying, okay, let's create a new app or let's create a new a program for our German community. And we're sitting down and we're starting to talk about it and we're getting all these great ideas. Our energy is changing, we're getting excited and that, that's the energy mm -hmm. that's available to create with. So the stronger the emotions that we feel to certain problems and conditions in our lives, the more we put our attention on the cause, whether it's your ex, whether it's your, whether it's your boss, whether it's a coworker, whether it's your pain. And basically, if you place your attention on those elements, you're giving a pow your power away to that person or thing. So as you begin to overcome those emotions in the process of connecting, then as you overcome those emotions, you'll take your attention off those people or problems and you'll begin to break the energetic bond with everyone and everything in your past present reality and now you're calling energy back to you that's available energy for you to design a new destiny so so much of people's creative energy is tied up in their pain so then as they begin to take their attention off their pain their body is starting to move closer to the present moment every day and so don't be impatient Every day is the mastery of self. If you overcome just a little bit of yourself every day, there will be a different feeling that warms your heart. That's, that's where I want people to be. And those, those add up over time. And yes, there's difficult meditations. Absolutely, I'd have them all the time. But if you are willing to sit in the presence of that fire and be willing to face off with it and keep returning back to the present moment, Every time you do that, every time you catch yourself thinking about another person or another thing and you become conscious and return back to the present moment and unfold back into possibility, that's a victory. Mm -hmm. And that's what begins to take us into this sense of worthiness, this sense of respect for ourselves and everybody else. We begin to honor and love ourselves more because we're in the crucible, we're in the fire, but we're working and the body's beginning to shift and change step by step. So then, as you experience greater and greater degrees of oneness and wholeness, you, and you connect to that field, pay attention, because the moment you connect to that field and all those latent systems switch on, your body is gonna get a biological upgrade because you're connecting to the signature of wholeness and oneness. So your body's frequency is gonna rise in so many people come out of their meditation and say, I was scheduled for surgery this week. I have no pain in my body. I don't know what happened, 
I just got beyond myself. So as you begin to slow your brain waves down and from beta to alpha and into theta, you begin to connect to your autonomic nervous system. And that autonomic nervous system has one agenda, and that is to create balance, wholeness, and order. And the moment you get beyond yourself and you're no longer your identity or your pain or your past or your agenda or your diet, you're just an awareness. And that intelligence becomes aware that you are no longer in the way. It is going to rush right into the body. And we've seen this on so many brain scans. That autonomic nervous system is going to light up. And now you are going to process a whole new stream of consciousness and the body is going to get a biological upgrade from the field whose signature is wholeness and disease is separation, pain is separation. And all of a sudden the field starts interacting on a cellular level and the person all of a sudden feels different. But getting there every single day is just connecting to that field. And then when you're there, what are you passionate about? If you're passionate about something, just fall in love with the idea that you could be healed and relax and surrender to the field and allow a greater mind to do it for you. Just get out of the way and every day, keep interacting with the field, keep connecting with it, keep practicing and sooner or later, you'll say what everybody else says. It was so worth the effort. Mm -hmm.